Hey guys, so what I'm doing today is doing a two-part video. It's going to be um, a Skunk 2 dual bend short shifter review, as well as the install of it in a 99 Acura Integra, so that falls into the 94 to 01 Acura Integra. Um, this will also be for some Honda Civics, CRXs, Del Sols, um, but the part that is going to be different about it is the center console. Um, the reason I am doing this, not this review, but yeah, this review as well as the installs because my short shifter broke. I ended up buying one of the $15 eBay short shifters, and this is the result of it. It's uh, totally snapped on me. Um, so far, as far as the Skunk 2 short shifter, I'm not disappointed with it. It is fairly heavy. Um, it will allow for easy shifting, uh, easy throw. Um, is really heavy it's not made out of aluminum definitely not made made out of aluminum it's made out of steel um, they have it has nice etching of the skunk 2 logo near the shift knob as well as here um, does come with the materials the spacers uh, I already did have the skunk 2 shift knob the weighted shift knob it works really well actually to it makes it easier for shifting um, so let's get to the install. So what you guys want to do is first take out the center console. Um, in order to do that and make things so much easier for this install so you don't break anything, uh, I almost broke this part of my center console last time just trying to rip this off, keeping the center console in. Um, so you want to start from the back where the, the armrest is. You have two bolts or two screws. They're right here is one. And the other side is two, so do that. You would um, take a Phillips screwdriver and just unscrew those. Thing you'd want to do is take out this cover right here. Um, it's easier to do it with a flathead screwdriver. I know it's hard to see, but it is on the left bottom side, right here. Um, what that does is it opens up. Um, I think it's one screw or two screws. Phillips head. You take those off. It'll pop off the armrest. After that, we do have two screws right here. What you do is take out the ashtray, and you will see two screws in the back. I don't know if you can see that. There are two screws in the back. One, two, one on the left side, one on the right. And uh, what that does, it will take out the, the whole entire center console um, as far as where the shift boot is. Um, hey, guys, I did mess up a little bit. Um, nothing too big. I did fix it. Um, what I did mess up on was I told you behind the ashtray there were those two screws. Um, so you do take out those two screws, but what that does, it does take out the ashtray holder as well as the cigarette lighter. Um, once you take that part out, do not pull out. You need to unplug the cigarette lighter. So there's the plug, here's the plug. Uh, once you unplug that, take out the two screws there. Um, you do have two more Phillips screws here. There's one here, one here. I did take those out already. Um, after that, you do just pop out, pull, twist a little bit, and you can take out the center console as well as the shift boot. All right, you guys, so um, after removing the center console, jack the car up, put it on jack stands. Um, here is where the shifter connects to the shift linkage. Um, you can see it right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's very hard under here. Um, what you're going to do now is remove the bottom of the shifter from the shift linkage. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove this. I believe it's a 10 or 12 millimeter bolt. Um, it is one of those two options. Uh, remove this. The shift linkage will drop. You do remove those nuts right there. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. There's one. And there's one on the other side that is either a 10 or 12 millimeter bolt as well or not. I believe it's a 10. Um, so after that, it's fairly simple once you move the shift linkage out of the way. Um, the shifter as well as the housing, that bottom housing, you're, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when I remove it. Um, it will fully remove from the car. Um, and from there, the it's pretty much plug and play with the shifter, um, which I will show you after I remove this. All right, you guys. So these were the two... Um, nuts and bolts that were holding the shifter in uh, to the housing. Uh, this was the housing that I was talking about. 
Um, it's fairly difficult to get this one out, um, especially because this is flat, there's nothing to hold on. Uh, we had to use vice grips, and this is the 10 millimeter bolt that was at the bottom of it. Um, this is the underside of the car. This is the top side of the car. So someone's gonna have to help you hold this from the inside of the car while you're under it, unscrewing this 10 millimeter bolt. Um, did get out the old aluminum dual bench shifter. Um, I can automatically tell that this is a piece of crap. Um, don't buy this. I recommend not to buy this. If you're gonna go uh, short shifter, just go expensive. Go right the first time because Skunk 2 honestly was the best bet from the beginning. Uh, I should have just went Skunk 2. Um, I can already tell the weight difference. The weight difference is extremely huge. This is probably good 10, ah uh, yeah, probably 10 pounds. This is, weighs nothing, not even a paperweight. Um, so from there, um, it is just a reverse of installation. You would want to put this shifter within this boot, put it back in this, and mount it back in the car, and then you're done. Just as a tip, you guys, um, replace these because they're kind of pointless um, and extremely hard to get off. Um, if you're going with the Skunk 2 shifter, I don't think you're ever going to have to replace or have to take that off. Um, unless you want to go to a different shifter uh, for whatever reason, but you're probably not going to need it. But just in case, replace these. These are a hassle and they're really unnecessary. That's just my opinion. Um, and that is it.